。好，各位，那相信大家呢，都对 HOC Home Ownership Campaign 呢，都非常非常的熟悉啦。但是很多人会提到 Incentive 啊 ，Incentive 啊，直到了十二月三十一号，那会是什么 Incentive 啊？那详情会是怎么样呢？那今天我们非常的荣幸。邀请到了马来西亚房地产发展商会 Reda b i n a n 的卸任会长拿督杜静良，为我们分享了 HOC and other incentive 计划的奖励机会来了。我们有请拿督杜。Thank you, Guangming and Zion Properties for inviting me to share some of my views during this Guangming Virtual Property Fair 2023. I was asked to share a few things here. One, the home ownership campaign. Two, the、uh, million dollar question. When is the right time to buy a property? Will the price go down again in the near future? And three, the property market going down. Now, let me start on the home ownership campaign that just been reintroduced by the federal government after MCO. Most of us call it HOC, which we had implemented in year 2019. In 2019, HOC Penang has managed to sell up to 4,890 units of residential properties, with an amount of Ringgit Malaysia 3.1 billion. This current HOC started since June 1st of 2020, and it will end on 21st of May 2021. During this period, any Malaysian citizen who purchases a residential property. At the price range within 300,000 and one ringgit to 2.5 million ringgit, the developer is supposed to give you a 10% discount from the registered selling price, and the stamp duty for transfer of title will be waived for the first 1 million ringgit of the selling price of your property. Besides, the stamp duty of 0.5% for the entire loan amount from the bank. Will be waived too. Well, many people do not realize how important is this stamp duty waiver on MOT,、uh, the memorandum of、uh, transfer. The common practice for most people nowadays is to delay the transfer of title when the house is completed. Now, during this time, during the time when the house completed, most people would have already spent a lot of money on renovation of the unit, and they think that. Since they are not selling the house at that moment, so the transfer of title can be delayed. And you know what happened? Most of the time, after many years, the title is lost. And、uh, to get a replacement title is a very tedious exercise. Either the purchaser or the developer has to get a court order from the land office to reproduce a lost title. In another instance, if the developer has the intention to close down the company after they have completed the development, they will pass all the titles to the lawyer, and the lawyer is allowed to charge a storage fee while taking custody of your title. The amount you have to pay to the lawyer one day will be very expensive when you need the title, such as for subsale or refinance of your. So I urge that all the potential house buyer today to take full advantage of the HOC, and the other advantage are bank interest is low, and developers are also giving away many incentives to sell their properties nowadays. Another category of housing that is available in Penang nowadays is the affordable housing, and many people are not aware of this category of housing because they thought that is a, a control. Price housing that is only available for certain type of people. Now, this is the housing sold below three hundred thousand ringgit, fixed by the state government, and we also call it RMM, Rumah Mantu Negeri. Even though the HOC do not include this category of housing, but during the budget twenty nineteen announced in October twenty eighteen, the stamp duty for transfer of title is already waived for affordable housing. For first-time house buyer, this is another category that is worth exploring. Of course, if the buyer has a few criteria to meet in order to eligible to purchase the affordable housing, such as your income ceiling that you have to meet,、uh, 
or you have never owned a property before and you must be a voter or you connect. But presently, the developers are also allowed by the state government to sell 40% of their units in the open market. Now, under this category, the open market category, the criteria are more relaxed. There are plenty now available in Penang. Some are in very good location with attractive packages from the developer. You can get a good bargain with developers, lump in and additional car park, ID packages, etc. More or less than 500,000 ringgit. I think this is the right time to search for a property if you have not owned one. Now, the uh, second point I need to touch on today is how is the property market going forward? From the statistics and feedbacks of many developers, the sales of properties have actually rebound in June, July and August, meaning that the market is active again after MCO. Maybe because of the HOC, or maybe during MCO, many people start to realize that it is more important to own a good home. You know, many people have actually switched their lifestyle, spending more time at home, and even working from home now. I believe another panel speaker, Mr. Michael Gay, will share with you the statistics figures of the property market. Now, speaking about MCO, I personally do not believe the situation of the COVID-19 pandemic will be here forever. Simply because human beings are very creative, we somehow will find a way to address the situation and adapt to it. It is in the news that the vaccine is expected to be available early next year. Things will start to open up and go back to normal. The tourism and the entertainment industry, the service and hospitality industry, foreign direct investment will start to get back to normal as before. Furthermore, this is the time we call the buyer's market. There are plenty of good deals available now at the moment. The Penang State Government is also pushing very hard on a few mega infrastructure projects, including the public transport. The corridor along the LRT will be the hot area to look at if you are searching for property. The State Government is also lowering the threshold for foreigners to purchase properties in Penang and discount on state consent too. I'm sure when the country opens up the border again, there will be many from Hong Kong, China and Singapore to snap up some of the good properties in Penang. Especially now the people of Hong Kong are looking for property overseas, especially after the China government had recently imposed this quality deal. And Penang is definitely on top of the list. With many directly direct flights less than 4 hours, good food and affordable, affordable house prices compared to the properties in Hong Kong, I'm sure they will be here. Now, one thing good about this virtual property fair is that you can actually do a thorough window shopping without leaving the home. And I was told by Kuang Ming that you will be greeted by a salesperson online, discuss online, before you actually have to meet the salesperson to view the show. So please start to do your homework, look at your EPF savings, talk to the bankers. I wish you all the best in property search. Thank you very much.